Arizona. We are located on the of Arizona State University in Tempe. That's a look at downtown Phoenix for today's game between the Stars and the Wranglers. And it's brought to you by Renault, makers of the Renault Alliance Encore and the new Fuego Turbo. For European technology and affordability, Renault is the one to watch. By light beer from Miller. Everything you've always wanted in a beer and less. There is one piece of news that is quite significant for those of you who follow the fortunes of the Philadelphia Stars. One of the main men in their offensive unit will not play. His name, Kelvin Bryant. Here he is now with our reporter from the field, Ted Dawson. Kelvin Bryant, the most valuable player of the United States Football League last week. Why can't you play with the bad knee, the cartilage in the knee? The Golden Gate Conference, Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference, Missouri Valley, and the WAC, Western Athletic Conference. Philadelphia will kick off to these Arizona Wranglers with Alan Clark out of uh, northern Arizona, and he is another fellow that has not been able to play as much as they had hoped. He's very quick, very dangerous running back. So Clark is the deep man on the kickoff for the Arizona Wranglers. Three and three on the year. Philadelphia five and one. Dave Trout will hit it for the Stars, and the game is on. Short kick bounces away from Eddie Brown and is picked up by a lineman upfield. And uh, back up comes to about the 26, 27 yard line. And he was hurt on the play. Looked like number 68. The ball bouncing around and was finally picked up. It would be Dave Huffman if uh, that's the case. And Dave Huffman is a very prominent member of the offensive front. As he stands up, it is Huffman. So Huffman, who is a very important member of the offensive front for the Arizona Wranglers, is shaken up as he takes that ricochet on the kickoff and looked like he took a whack around the leg and he is hopping, hobbling off the field. But he is at least walking on his own power. Greg Landry will go at quarterback. Been around a long time. The hair has turned silver. It'll be Kevin Long and Tim Spencer at the running back positions. It's a very strong running game Arizona has. Tremaine Johnson is a wide man along with Lenny Willis who has moved up into that spot. And Huffman is out of there as you saw with the injury. It's Taylor, Thayer, Sullivan, Statnick and Ricker and uh, the man who will go in behind uh, Huffman at right guard will be Tom Piet out of Michigan State who plays guard and center. So Piet is in there right now at right guard with the injury to Huffman. Here we go with the first snap of the ball game. They send the man in motion. That's Tim Spencer and Landry quickly goes to the air and it's completed to Tremaine Johnson out at the 33 yard line. That's short of a first down. It'll be second down and about four. And the defensive unit for Philadelphia lines up with rookie William Fuller out of North Carolina at an end. Pete Kugler at the nose guard. Uh, it's Jamison Howard, Mills, and Cooper at the linebacking core. And your secondary lines up as it has in games past. Lane, Sutton, Gibson, and Lush. It is Landry on a scramble, and not a good thing for older legs to have to do, and he is pulled down behind the line of scrimmage by Bunting and Howard. Field. It's a very unusual thing to see the field at Arizona State, Sun Devil Stadium soft. It is third down and three. That's Ricker tight end in motion as Landry sets the throw, comes short. Out of the backfield, the pass is caught by Kevin Long. Long's got a first down for Arizona up at the 41. He was wide open as the linebackers dropped off in the short zone. A field combination in the backfield. They are double wide to the top. Now they've got Spencer coming back to the ball in motion. Pitch it back to Kevin Long. Gets a block from Spencer and moves the football up to the 45. Sam Mills out of Montclair State made the tackle for Philadelphia. Halfback with his size being able to take on the linebacker or receiver may not have been able to make that block. It is second down and six, and it is Spencer carrying the midfield. So they're looking at third down at about two. Gunger gained only six yards. And they got beat. 16, no, 17 to 7. From midfield, third down and two. Short two. Send Long into the stack, and it'll be close. It depends on the spot, and it looks to me like they're going to mark him short of the first down. I think he was short, Keith. He didn't get any momentum going into the line. Crowd likes it. He'll probably take a long count trying to get somebody to jump from Philadelphia. Didn't get that. Gives it to Spencer. Oh, he does get it, I think. 
unless somebody along the Arizona front lost their poise and uh, jumped with it. There's a penalty flag across the way from the linesman. It looked to me, Keith, like the... 11 and a half minutes to go in the first quarter, just getting underway. First possession, the Rangers are sitting with the ball and moving it down the field. Handed off to Kevin Long. He cuts it back against the grain, and then good leg drive takes him down to the 38. He picked up six yards. Number 59, John Bunning was the linebacker in on that tackle. Ground at about four. Philadelphia showing right now a five-man front. They've got Spencer in motion. They send Long in behind him. But Kevin is pinned in there pretty quickly by number 59, Bunning. And Don Fielder, number 96. Don Fielder is out of Kentucky, 6'3", 250, a defensive end. And he's a very good defensive footprint to 36. It is third down and two, Arizona. Showing blitz here, Philadelphia is. And they drop off and don't blitz. And Landry puts it in the air, and he's got Ricker wide open. And Ricker is knocked out of bounds by Jonathan Sutton at the six-yard line. Paul Ricker is at the Philadelphia six. And the ball is pitched back. And Tim Spencer carries good leg drive, goes to about the one. Two people had a hold of him, including Sam Mills, but Tim Spencer is Thank a big you. fellow at 6'1", 215. Stars step inside, lock shoulders, and try to keep him out. Spencer has good speed. They may go outside. Give it a long, long reaches for it and doesn't get it. So Kevin Long it's caught, so I'm going to reach out and extend the ball as far as he can. Faster at corner, he's moved to his natural position at strong safety. Third and goal from the one for Arizona. Up the middle, long. Over the right side, touchdown. <laughs> Kevin Long's first step was straight toward the center. Here's your extra point try by Frank Corral. <laughs> Alan Risher puts it down. Right through. So they use four minutes and 43 seconds to march the football downfield and take a 7-0 lead over the Philadelphia Stars. He's lost some weight, got himself in good shape. I think one of the few people who can both punt and kick off effectively for one team. Kick is high, and it is McCants. He's coming a yard out of the end zone, and he's down at the 11. And the man hustling downfield for Arizona was Larry Douglas out of Simon along with David Wright. Steve Folsom, the tight end, and Willie Collier and Sushki are the wide people. Bart Oates is at center. And here's the first Philadelphia snap, trailing seven to nothing. Ball is given to Harvin. Nothing fancy, and Allen turns it all the way to the 17 for the better part of seven yards. Minifield brought him down for Arizona. Riley Harvin, setbacks, Collier, Pitsky up front. These are the people for them, and they're very big, strong people. Mike McLaren, a youngster, learning, growing every week. Gilbert Oates, Comiskey, Eatman, and the tight end Folsom, the big target, at 6'4 and 230. Now on second down and three, they've got two tight ends in the ball game as Dunnick checks in. And they stay with a running game get a yard out of it up to about the 18 with Harvin carrying. The defensive unit for Arizona, they line up this way and they show a four-man front most of the time. Lorch, Ehrman, Lathrop, and Lee. The linebackers, and there's some years on them. Smith, Fonhorst, and White, particularly Stan White's been about a long time. Frank Minifield, the rookie, Lupe Sanchez, Ted Walton, and old pro Luther Bradley, who had six interceptions in one ball game last year. Third down and two. Philadelphia. Right now, Arizona shows him a six-man front. Now seven, as the middle linebacker steps in, and Fusina goes to the air, and he's got his first down. As the pass is completed up across the 30 to Herbert Harris, number 84, but there's a penalty flag in the backfield of Philadelphia. It's a holding call. I'm talking with the... And it's third down, 11 and a half. Close to 12. trying to cover Collier. Pass is intercepted by Eddie Brown. And Arizona's knocking on the door and a penalty flag goes down. So they may get something tacked on top of that. 
You seen it was hurried, tried to get it away. He saw Collier, the linebacker, trying to cover him. No way a linebacker covers Collier this week because the Stars have been a second half ball club. And a little passive in the first half this season so far. You get behind 14 out here, it might be kind of rough on a 90 degree day. Back goes Landry trying to cash it in here. Intercepted! Landry threw it in the crowd. He had Johnson over there, but there were two red shirts there, and one of them came down with it. Look like Bunning. John Bunning, the linebacker. John Bunning, the linebacker, one of the safe. At 7.04 in the first quarter, Landry throws the interception. Instead of trailing 14 to nothing, here is uh, Philadelphia now with a football first down at the 20. Yoshina gives it to Harvin. Hard running by Harvin gets it out to about the 25. And again, the linesman has thrown a penalty flag. I think that goes back to what George was saying in the pregame interview, that the team is beating itself. Uh, and you made the point on all the penalties, where the penalties have resulted in 18 first downs for the opposition. It is now holding call against Philadelphia. Philadelphia. So the Stars are making it to the sidelines so they can take a look at alignments and so forth. It's first down and 20, and Yusina gives to Harvin, who falls down at the 11. Right now, let's check in. Yeah, that's the old pro. Yusina back to throw on second down. Pressure's on. They've got it. Behind the 10. Run down by Kit Lathrop. He played at Arizona State in college, had a year at Denver, a year at Green Bay, was with Chicago Blitz last year. Good. to be able to go the entire ball game like that. Third down at about 22. You see this pass is almost picked off. He overthrew his intended receiver, Fitzgerald. Landetta gets it out, and it's a dandy. Brown goes all the way back to his 38. Oh, what a good block he got to get around the corner, and then he is belted down around the 44. It was a 54-yard punt, and there is a penalty flag sitting back at the 8-yard line. A penalty flag on the field. It's a procedure call against Philadelphia. And they better take it. <laughs> because Very back of the end zone. Hoping he's got another big one in his foot. Penalty flag again. Not a particularly good kick. Johnson takes it at the 47. He's got a hole. Penalty flag. Johnson is gone for a touchdown, but there's a penalty flag back up field. Hang on. One at the line of scrimmage. One upfield. Philadelphia's 47-yard line. Illegal block. He got a clip, clip. upfield, I think, or either illegal use of hands. I don't know what the one downfield is. We had an illegal formation on the offense. We have a clip against the runback team. It will be a replay. Oh, my. Wipes it as he had offsetting penalties. No pressure. And he didn't get all of it. But it does take a Philadelphia bounce and goes rumbling on downfield and turns into a heck of a punt all the way back to the 41-yard line. 55 yards with the roll. That matches his longest of the season. 5.04 to go in the first quarter. They're back at the 41, and they go to the ground game, and they pound along with the... They're back at the 41, and they go to the ground game. They pound along with uh, Tim Spencer up to about the 45 for four yards. Here's Eddie Brown now with Ted Dawson. Second down and six from the 45 for Arizona. Double wide top of the picture. Stay with the ground game. Kevin Long wrestling his way to the 48. And they'll do that all day if Philadelphia lets them. Brown, Phoenix. Third down and three. Andrews' pass is good for the first down. Caught by Paul Ricker. Ball comes loose. They're going to mark him down at the 43. It will be a first down for the Arizona Wranglers. 
even with the Tremaine Johnson to the outside, but it looks like Greg Landry has opted to try and take advantage of that. That's Lenny Willis going in motion. They've got Spencer on this side wide. He looks to him, but dumps it off instead to Kevin Long. Long loses his footing and goes down. He had a chance getting a good block to turn it back inside and pick up another seven after the big rain Friday night. First rain they'd had in 91 days. On the 37, it's second down at about four. Here comes Long again. Takes his way through there and gets the first down inside the 30. So Arizona is still marching and we march. Offense, Philadelphia has five here in the first quarter with about two minutes to go in the first period. Stars showing the blitz now as Landry steps quickly and gets it away. Pass is complete to Johnson. Tremaine Johnson gets the first down as he takes the ball to the 13 of Philadelphia. Gibson and Howard. First down were the reasons it worked. From the 13, Tim Spencer outside. And coming up in a hurry is Jonathan Sutton to take him on, and he nails him right at the knees and takes him down with a third. Second down and about 11. It was a loss on that last play by Spencer. Ball is back near the 14 as Landry sets up the throw, throws it down the middle as Lenny Willis came across in the middle to take the hit from his wide receiver spot. And he did take a hit from Garcia. Johnson to the bottom of the picture, Willis to the top. Landry looking to do something quickly. Johnson, great catch, touchdown, penalty flag. Tossed that one the good ways into the stands. Just a little bit happy as I think they will call pass interference against the Philadelphia Stars. But Tremaine was still able to get inside and make the catch. Dave Kaminsky. We have an illegal chuck on the defense. Penalty will be declined. Touchdown. We are at the end of the first quarter. They'll chain turn around here just as soon as we have the extra point try by Correa. Snap is high. The kick is up and it's good. And so the Arizona Wranglers have moved out to a 14 0 lead after the first quarter. Well, the Philadelphia Stars have got themselves in a hole again. It's not the first time they've been in this position this season. But on the road and against a quality team in Arizona, it'll be a little tough to get too much more down. And Remember what happened a year ago. This is Mark McCants at the nine, back to the 22, and what up and down he goes, Larry Douglas, the hot man, this time for the Arizona Rangers. Here's Ted Dawson. Congratulations, Turkey. Thank you. Cost about 30 bucks, don't they? <laughs> Chuck Fusina trying to set up a screen. It's Steve Folsom on a tight end screen, and he doesn't get much out of it. Gets about a couple of yards before number 56, Ed Smith, comes in to make the tackle. As we look at these stats, the most surprising thing, it, it looks bad all the way down the line for Philadelphia. But coming into this game, they dominated in time of possession. They averaged 36 minutes a game to Arizona's 29. Look at the difference there. If this holds true for the rest of the ball game, Philadelphia will have only possessed the ball about 16 minutes the entire game. And it'll be a route. <laughs> a definite route. You've seen it back. Scramble. And he will. And he does as he dives for the marker and goes down at about the 33. Lupe Sanchez, a rookie out of UCLA. In the precarious third down passing situation. Stars first down. Ball is at the 33. You see him? Going on first down. Gets it away. Pass is good to David Riley, the fullback, out to the 42. Picked up nine yards on the play. And we grow cross country to Jim Lincoln. That's a great name if you can just pronounce it. Do what Air Force Egan used to do, call him Big Fellow. <laughs> Alan Harmon carries the ball, trying to get the first down, and it depends on the spot. He's close to it. Well, I don't know if the spot will be good. North Carolina now. Out west, we got a lot of high road pinarandas. <laughs> Play to UC. They're going today. Philadelphia is without Kelvin Brown. It's Alan Harmon. And Harmon 
cups it big. Goes down to the Arizona side of the field and close to the 45 for Ed Smith out of Andy. Run or pass the first down, it will open up that running game. What a throw this time. He hit Alan Harbin right on the numbers. But Harbin, in turning back to see the ball, lost his footing and fell down and couldn't control it. Eddie Brown's come in now, and David Riley goes out. That leaves him with a one-back offense, Alan Harbin. And you see the back, lost it up for Collier, and it's too long. Willie couldn't run it down, and it was pretty fair coverage by Lupe Sanchez. Lupe was right there with it. Richard died for it because he was bent backwards looking for it. Now you've got three swift people in wide on third down, actually four. Third and ten. You see that goes down the middle with it, throws a bullet, and the pass is complete. Down at the 31 to Herbert Harris, a rookie out of Lamar, and he's got a first down. As Philadelphia puts together its first march of the day, that's Harvin bouncing and skipping up the middle. And he gets it close to the 32. Give him three, three and a half on the carry. Be the next man, and he has not played at all so far as a Philadelphia star. It's second down. Long six. You see the throw goes to the tight end. Pass is good to Folsom. And Folsom is knocked out of bounds short of the first down. Number 25, Eddie Brown, 13 to go in the first half. with Harbin, and he won't get it. Von Horst and Smith fundamentally responsible for stopping it. Here's where you miss Brian. Got Rodenberger in there, line him, they load up the right side. They give it to the fullback, Riley, and David Riley out of West Virginia goes pounding through a big hole on the right side, and you know who's over there. Irv Eatman and Chuck Comiskey. They also had a Rodenberger over there to help folk call on his side, and he responded. And it's first down, ball outside the 15, back to Riley. Riley for three to about the 12. If I had guys like uh, Comiskey, Tunani, and Eatman, how would you Second down and seven, Fusina sets it up to throw it, goes into the end zone and overthrows his man. Scott Fitzke, and Fitzke has broken back. loose for yeah. just a moment. Brent Staters, that wide. Willie Collier is in for the match. And it's third down and seven. Ball is sitting near the 12. You see this pass, a quick pop to Collier. Collier is hit, dropped at the five, and he's close to another first down. Luther Brown. Arizona leading 14 to nothing. Here goes Alan Harmon on a sweep to the outside, and he is belted by Ed Smith, the leading tackler. Amongst the linebackers, both in there now, along with Collier. You see him? Looking, gets it away. He wanted to throw it to his tight end, but Luther Bradley took on Steve Folsom, and he really held him up. And Fusina is spoken about it. Well, Folsom stopped him. It is third down and goal from the nine. Fusina's pass is incomplete. You've got a penalty flag in the end zone. It is Tom Donovan in the area of Lupe Sanchez, and it's Lupe doing the squawking now, and it's obviously going to be against him. Holding on the defense. Lupe Sanchez out of UCLA. That's a very big mistake. It would have brought up fourth down and goal from the nine. Now it is first and goal inside the five. Carrying the ball, David Riley fighting to the goal line, and they give it a touchdown. David always fancied himself as a little bit of a dancer when he was in Pittsburgh, and <laughs> that hasn't changed much. Great. <laughs> David Trout, David Trout for the extra point. He missed a couple in a recent game. The snap was high. Reardon got it down, and he hooked it out. It is so hard sometimes to recover from it. And that's where Phillips 14 to 6 as Alan Clark comes with a 
short kickoff from Trout, but he is thrown down at the 16 on good coverage. A 14 to 6 Arizona lead, second quarter, 5 18. Clock running now as Arizona comes up from the 16. That's Spencer going in motion and they give it along. And the big guy from South Carolina is up to the 23. Here's David. Great a major change. Of course, you know Kevin is outstanding running back, so without a doubt. But we haven't made any major changes. David, congratulations on the fine touchdown. So now a little heat here on the Stars defensive people. It's third down. And penalty flags flying all over the place as the pass is completed out past the 30. That would be sufficient yardage for the first down. But let's see about the penalties. On third and five, the call. Offside, defense, oh. number 67, penalty refused, first down. Six flags on Philadelphia today. Watch the football. Landry's nine out of ten for 99 yards. Willis in motion. Back it goes, a little flea flicker down the middle, short. Lenny Willis, who is 5'11", 190, and a half a ton, he just dispersed. Right here. It's just over the 42 for the first down. Greg Landry whips it out to Kevin Long. He gets one block. He gets two blocks, and he gets to the 40. Eight-yard line. That's short of a first down. Let's check. Thank you, Jimmy. Greg Landry has now hit eight in a row for the Arizona Wranglers. It is second down and about five. Again, he sidearms it out there and goes off the hands of the intended receiver. Boatner and uh, Dennison are in. Boatner, good block, a big man. Pass to the sidelines. Johnson got the first down. Curled it outside and took it right in front of Jonathan Sutton. Pointing coming up, which is going to give them an extra timeout. In effect, as Spencer slips and falls down, losing yardage back to the 45. Another slip on the field. Running backs may have to realize that they can't make the sharp breaks coming back at center field. Two minutes. Corona, home of Arizona State University. We're in Sun Devil Stadium. It's a 14-6 Arizona lead over Philadelphia. Second down, 12. Langers in the air with it. Pass is caught by Lenny Willis. Short of the first down. He is at right about the Philadelphia 35, and there's a penalty flag. Antonio Gibson had to come over from his safety position. At an angle, almost timed it up for an interception. Another Philadelphia penalty, that's seven. Seven. All just inside the 40. First down, Arizona. It's Kevin Long. Nothing fancy, just boom. Five yards. It is tough inside. That run was only stopped because of the effort of number 95, William Dreams behind Denver in the Pacific Division. Second down, five. Jermaine Johnson down the middle. Landry sees him, hits him at the 29. Comes back a little bit and gives a yard away and goes down on the 30. Los Angeles coming up in July and August. It is a first down for Arizona. So with 1.02 to play in the first half, they have four more snaps to work with. And the timeout situation, Arizona with all three. Somewhere in the back of Arizona minds, they have to be thinking about all the comebacks Philadelphia's made. They go to the ground game. Tim Spencer getting to the outside, but there's pretty good coverage out there. But another mistake by Philadelphia. Three men pursuing Spencer. They give it to Spencer. I don't, I don't understand this. I just flat don't understand it. You got a chance to get your run as they took the play. So officially it shows seven penalty flags, but actually that's ten. And they're failing 14-6. And they stay with the ground game, giving the ball off to Spencer. And Spencer runs for a first down at the five with 31 seconds to play. Philadelphia six. And Landry 
Throws it, beats the blitz with it, gives the ball to Spencer. Spencer gets out of bounds at the two. And that stops the clock with 25 seconds. Units uh, three of the three new defensive people stepping in for Philadelphia. And you know what? The mix-up and the change defensively for the Stars causes Philadelphia to spend the timeout. So things are just the two games that they seem to have in their pocket last year. Only to have Philadelphia come storming back and win both. Landry gives the ball over the middle to Spencer, and he scores. Touchdown, Arizona. the score. Corral for the extra point try out of Alan Risher's hole. Quarterback at LSU. Starting quarterback in last year's edition of the Rangers. Snap low. Risher gets it down. Corral drills it through and it's 21 to 6 with 22 seconds to play in the first half. George Allen apparently knew what he was doing when he kept pounding away. It'll be quite a football game next week. It's a low skittering kick that's going to bounce into the end zone and Mark McCants is going to take it on through there and beyond the field of play and Philadelphia will come back to the 20. Greg Landry now with 22 seconds and two timeouts from their own 20. Trailing 21 to 6 and looks like they're just going to wind the clock down and go to the clubhouse and very likely get quite a lecture from Jim Mora. Quite a lecture about enjoying the sunshine a little bit too much and not keeping their heads together, cutting out the mistakes and getting all the penalties in the first half. So the first half of play is done. The Arizona Wranglers lead the Philadelphia Stars by a score of 21 to 6 at halftime. We'll be back with today's halftime activities after this message and the word from your local station. Dream at Sun Devil Stadium out in Arizona, and you are your one sided. And it's all on the Arizona side. You can see they still have possessed the ball almost three minutes longer than the Philadelphia Stars, and that's been crucial as they have marched down the field for their 21 points. Uh, really, what you don't see there is are the turn are the uh, penalties that have been called against Philadelphia, and that has really been the key so far to the ball game. Inconsistent play. I'm here for play. 21 to six, Arizona lead. There's just a mild little breeze. It's one of those days that you dream about when you've been pummeled and pounded by harsh winter weather. It's just glorious today in the Phoenix area. The kick goes to Herbert Harris, a wide receiver for the Philadelphia Stars. And Harris comes back to the 27-yard line, and there the Stars will go to... Just short of the 27. They send Scott Fitzke in motion, and the man on the top end of the line moved too soon. Alan Harvin with the ball is hit behind the line of scrimmage by Kit Lathrop. It's second down and 17. Junior's pass to the sideline. Stefitsky, he's out of bounds. Incomplete. Ran out of real estate, but down 17. Yoshina runs away from the pressure. He's got some green in front of him. But they've got him short of the first down. He took a pretty good hit. But it'll be fourth down for the Stars. They'll have to punt. Here's Kelvin Bryant now. I like it. He has not lost touch with the realities of the real life. Good kick out of there by Landetta. Trumaine Johnson drops the ball, but it is picked up by Walton. And Ted Walton saves it for Arizona. 42-yard Trumaine Johnson retreating on it, and he has not been returning punts. So long march right here. So let's see if Philadelphia decides to get some on defense. Ben Stobin is our defensive coordinator, and he's got some tricks. They hand it inside to Kevin Long, and Long moves for about three up to the 34. He would like to get Willis. Those are the wide people right now as they go to the I formation. 
and Landry gives it to Spencer and Spencer runs through a tackle at the line of scrimmage and goes down at the 40 and they spot him just over the 40 and just short of the 45 on the left guard number 61 Tom Thayer the right side is completely new third in the yard long dives depends on the spot May want to change for this one at 11.55 to go in the third quarter on a hot day. He's up in the backfield by William Fuller along with Mazzetti's field goal giving them a three-point lead. And the New Jersey Generals uh, running away from the Memphis Showboats in the final period. Arizona plays at New Jersey next week. Rumble in the backfield. Landry dives on it and saves it back on the 33. So Greg never got away from center with that one. That's the first bit of luck. Second down at about 17. Landry's pass is away down the middle, and the pass is complete, and a penalty flag is thrown, and you may get a rough on the quarterback call back here. Or you could get a hold of Lenny Willis is the man that made the catch down the middle. The penalty is against Arizona. <laughs> it's and you've got to take it. Johnson to the bottom of the picture now. And it's third down and 17. Oatner and Dennison also in on third down passing plays. Philadelphia may have jumped offside. Landry's pass thrown down the middle is incomplete. An offside penalty. Maybe coming right here against the Philadelphia Stars. Well, the safety had come up behind the line of scrimmage, was faking it. 11, but only eight go in the book for 50 yards against Philadelphia. It's third down and 12 after the five-yard penalty for Landry. All day long. And now throws it away, and here's a penalty in the backfield. The defense, he's picked it up in a hurry now. Now he throws it back down. So I thought for a minute he was going to pick it up and put it back in his pocket. You may have holding downfield. Pushing. Yeah. My goodness, nine penalties. And the automatic first down on the call gives Arizona the ball at their own 44. 10-42 to play in the third quarter at 21-6 Arizona lead. Landry on a deep drop. Throws it short. Pass is caught by Paul Ricker. Tight end out of Norwich University. English 3-3 three three coming into the game. The Stars were 5-1. and one. New Jersey is one over Memphis. Landry on first down to throw. Trying to set a screen. Gets in the way to Spencer. Spencer gets a heck of a block. And makes a big play out of it. Who was that man that threw the block up here? The big man first down at the 23 of Philadelphia. the field penalty flags and whistles and while we wait for that let's check in with Ted Dawson and Scott to have help. And sometimes you wish you had 15. This is Spencer sweeping. Cut back inside. Close to the first down. Arizona has converted on third down. Two first downs, seven out of eight touchdowns. Oh, threw the ball just behind his receiver. He had Lenny Willis available to him. But he... On its way. Missed it. Hooked it left. Fisher reached for it, brought it down. Seemed to have it in pretty good shape, but it just sailed on the hooking outside the left upright. And so Arizona is turned away, leading 21 to 6. Here they've got a pretty good hill to climb, 21 to 6. They have the football first down. The ball is at their own 23, and Chuck Fusina gets it off. The pass is caught by Riley out of the backfield and then dropped by Riley, and they'll rule no catch. Trying to set up a screen, and his receiver simply could not get out there and get to the ball. And very revealing statistic there. You got four wide receivers out there for Philadelphia now. 
Peterson is in trouble. Oh, they got it. It is Carl Lorch with a sack. Carl Lorch out of USC. He has seen some miles. He put the punt. Kicks of 55 and 42 in the first half. That's a pretty good kick. Fair catch is called by Eddie Brown. Drops the ball and Philadelphia got it. Back at the 45 of Arizona. Herbert Harris. Ready for quick for the Philadelphia Stars. 46 yard line of Arizona. First piece of luck Philadelphia's had. Is thrown out to Riley. And Riley is belted. Helmet comes flying off as Ed Smith came across with Mirov. Ball is at the 39, inside the 39. We're at second down three. You see the back to throw again, going deep. He's got a man in the corner. It's just too long for Willie Collier. Collier going downfield, and it was Luther Brett Sanchez, the man that had the responsibility on it. Third down and two. They're going to run for the first down, and they don't get there. Alan Harmon trying to pick up the first down, slanting it right in, but Minifield. Riley is out. Rodenberger is in at fullback with Harmon. They give it to Harmon, and Harmon dives for his first down. Depends on the spot. It may be close enough to measure. From here, it looks like he has the first down, but they will bring in the change for the measurement. 5.40 to play in the third quarter. This is a considerable moment right here for the Philadelphia Stars in this ball game. the ball. Ain't much. Does not take much. <laughs> Man, too helpful because he's a 235 pounder and he's tough. First down, 36 of Arizona. Yusina rolling out, rolling out, and he is brought down. Short of the line of scrimmage back on the 39 by Joe Ehrman, who just kept sifting through red shirts until it was just not in the right position to do it. Second down and 13. Four wide receivers. Five minutes to go, third quarter. Stars trailing by 15. Pressure from the backside. Passes away. Passes good downfield to about the 26. Maybe the 25. That'll be close to a first down to Harris. Right now, let's check in with Jim. So Herbert Harris having himself a big day. Riley now is back in at fullback. Go to Harvin, penalty flag. Harvin's got a pretty good play out of it, down to uh, about the 21, but let's check your penalty. The linesman's laundry will have to be sent to the laundry. It's, those two linesmen have been throwing flags all day long, and it's been a result of offside. An average of 5.6 per game. Now they've just switched roles. First down and 15 as the ball comes back outside the 30. And Fusina getting pressure from the backside, gets his pass off, pass is caught by Riley, then dropped by Riley. David has had two of those where he's had him on his hands, and then when he was hit, ball squirting loose, and that time it's been third down that you truly do miss. Second and 15. Fusina has time, has a man down the middle, Riley, touchdown for Philadelphia. David Riley, he catches it over number 52, the team captain, the man who calls the signal, Stan White, for a 30-yard touchdown. They go for two, and they fail. Jeff Rodenberger trying to cut it in the end zone and get back to even numbers of 14, and they come away empty on it. So they missed the extra point by the kick. They go for two. They fail to get them. I am from the 21 to 12, Arizona. As Philadelphia's Dave Trott will kick off. And deep is Alan Clark. The old extra point haunting the stars right now. Dave's kick is high. And taken by Doug Dennison. And Dennison is taken down at the 26-yard line by Antonio Gibson. 
Colorado. That's where Arizona. Here's Arizona now. The Heat's on the Philadelphia defense. Don't let them sit on the ball. Landry back on first down. Throw short. Good to the 35. A yard short of the first down. Here's Ted Dawson. Thank you, Keith. Chuck, you've seen it. Do you guys believe? Yep. Second down in a yard. Arizona. They've got the first down as Kevin Long, the 220-pound veteran, wiggles his way in the middle. It becomes the linebacker. Point well made. Philadelphia blitzing. Landry gets a pass away, and it's knocked away on a fine play by Antonio Gibson. Lenny Willis was 10. Again, Philadelphia showing blitz. They force Landry with great pressure and force him upfield, and they duck him right about the line of scrimmage as Fielder makes the tackle. So that time, back inside the Cooper, covering the short zone. And it's third down and nine. <laughs> Landry throws short to Tremaine Johnson, and they've got Johnson on a fine play by Scott Werner. Again, here comes Wisdom to the floor as the veteran out of Georgia comes up and nails Johnson with a sure tackle lane to return the punt. Garcia Lane is averaging just about nine yards. That's going to bounce in front of him. And and he dives for the ball and gets it and keeps it from rolling on downfield. So the former Buckeye from Ohio State puts it down at the 13, 42-yard punt, and there is a flag back upfield. It is a lineman downfield against Arizona to his 25 now and should hit it around the 30. Low kick, spiral to lane. And he gets some room and fumbles the football, and it goes right back into the hands of guess who? <laughs> Herbert Harris. Herbert Harris. <laughs> Herbert Harris almost clipped downfield. He had a man, and it's it's only by because there was so much else going on. Play hard, and you hustle. You always be in the right spot to make something happen. Right. Herbert Harris is doing just that today. Over the 26, first down for Philadelphia. Wide man at the top almost jumped offside. You get a late flag thrown by the linesman over there as Harvin has run out of bounds. Keith, it was only a late flag because it took him so long to dig it out of his back pocket. <laughs> Receiver jumped offside. I think it was Fitzky. He tried to get back in time, but he couldn't get set. So that goes against Philadelphia, and that goes as the pickup of two yards on it. So it'll be second down and eight as the ball comes up to the 28. Philadelphia. You see the back. Shoots it down the middle. That's going to be short of the first down to Ken Dunnick, number 80, a tight end. Dunnick had no opportunity to turn up field. Luther Bradley. So our USFL game today, the Philadelphia Stars and Arizona Wranglers, will continue after this message and the word from our local stations. Starts for Philadelphia as they face a third down and a long three. Yusina will throw. Can't get away. Brought down by Kit Lathrop. <laughs> and Landetta to punt. Tremaine Johnson is deep. Landetta has hit it a mile high and two miles long. And Johnson fumbles the ball. And Philadelphia's got it. Who's it's got it? Herbert Harris. <laughs> to the 10-yard line. They cannot, they cannot advance a muck punt. It will be Philadelphia's ball. I see no flags down on the... Here's Philadelphia now with a rather glorious opportunity. First down on the Arizona 10. Yusina gives to Harvin. Harvin tries to bounce outside and can get nothing out of it as Ed Smith, number 56, is right there. Mark that number one break for the Philadelphia Stars in the fourth period. Now they've got to come up with some imagination here as Fusina drops quickly, gets in trouble, scrambles around, gets it off, passes, bounced in front of the intended receiver, and it is incomplete. It was Scott. Russia just put that one into the dirt. He had no chance to make a play. It is third down and goal from the 10. Into the corner, Donovan can't reach it. Might have jumped too soon. Look at 21-15. It's a 27-yard field goal. Number one, David Trump. Tim Reardon holds. It 
is up. And it is good, and there is a penalty flag. That was thrown by the official who was behind the Arizona yeah, Wranglers. 12 men on the defense, a delay penalty. <laughs> 12 men. Way to go, George. You're no good. <laughs> so George knew they couldn't get a first down. Trinity had to put a touchdown in the end zone. Against these Arizona Wranglers. Right now, Philadelphia. Dave trying to kick off. Alan Clark is the deep man for Arizona. Trout's kick is longer this time with a little help from the wind, and he runs Clark way back in the end zone, and it'll be first down up at the 10, at the 20. As, um, in the fourth period, that's 33%. Landry gives it to Spencer. And Spencer has three yards, and Ted Dawson is now with Irving. Hopefully when we go back out there, we, you know, they'll just kind of disappear because we don't have all our time to make those mistakes again. So I think they're just waiting on us to beat him. I think this is what we'll do when we go out. Keith, Tim Spencer turning up field, and he's just short of the first down near the 30-yard line. Spencer now with 14 carries in the game for 45 yards. That's an interesting comment. Well, here's a play for him right here. Third down in the yard. Philadelphia's in snug. They're going to run it. And I don't think he fumbled that ball. That ball came loose. They mark him down right at the 30. He didn't fumble it. They call it down. He was flat of his back when the ball squirted loose. The game and Arizona lead 21 to 15. First down, Landry to throw it. Caught from behind. Throws it anyway. And a penalty flag. Number 91, Buddy Moore is a man who got his arms around him. Defensive end on the left side for the black on the offense. Oh, it's against Arizona. You build offensive ball quickly with good field position. Landry throws the swing pass after Tim Spencer, and Spencer is caught and belted. And he goes down at the 29. Hit and really decked by Scott Werner. Here's there has certainly been a bit, uh, big turn in fortune for Glenn Carano coming to the USFL. Has it? Here's a bullet thrown to Johnson. And it's completed up at the 36, but it's short of the first down. So it brings a fourth down at about four. No! no. Well, gets it out of there. It's a soft spinner, and Garcia Lane calls a fair catch. And it was a good decision by Lane. There was plenty of coverage downfield. 34-yard punt. Philadelphia has the ball on their own 30 with 10 minutes to play. For uh, Arizona at home, 30,202 today. And here comes Philadelphia now. 10 minutes to play. You see them? Waste to down right there. They have not been able to run on first down against this team consistently. I don't know why they chose to run that time. They had 17 draws. Second down, 11. Houston has looped it up in the air, and it's too long. Scott Fitzke, covered by Frank Minifield. Let's check in with Ted Dorfield. And it's third down, 11, for Philadelphia. Two very ordinary efforts on the first two snaps. This time, you see the pops it short, and it is complete, but it is short of the first down. The pass complete to Willie Collins. He can make things happen in that defensive unit. Landetta is in. His last kick was 65, where Johnson didn't field it. This time, it's Eddie Brown back there. So we're back and all. Landetta's kick is a good one. Brown calls a fair catch. Back at the 18, and the home crowd cheers it for handling the ball properly. Finally, a 42-yard kick, 8 minutes and 14 seconds to play in the football game, and Arizona leads by 6. Listen to Dave Kaminsky. The leader gets to the hand, number 20, first down. A mistake by Arizona gives Philadelphia a first down at their own foot. Illegally blocked with his hands pushed. Brown is hurting. He's got hurt in his back. That's why I probably didn't want to run. And so here's Philadelphia now, given new life. As Cusina throws the ball out on a swing to Harvard. He's out there by himself. And he gets a yard or so on the play. Range penalty. 
And it's second down, call it eight now, up near the 45. They give that ball to Harvin again, and again he tries to run it around the right side, and again there isn't very much there. Two out of 11. Third and six, you read pass here. Down the middle, close to the first down. But they're not going to mark it far enough downfield. They hit Willie Collier for the completion. Close 89. I think it's definitely more than likely going to that right side. They gave it to Riley, and Riley is hammered right at the line of scrimmage. But look at the linesman. It looks to me like the linesman has marked him. The Wranglers are screaming about it. But I think he got a mark. If he got the first down, he only got it by inches. Wranglers definitely believe they stopped him. We'll take a look. The right side of the offensive line, you see their surge. You see the defensive line burring down low. <laughs> you see the linebacker, number 57, Dope Field, diving over the top. Almost a reverse tackle. Here's the measurement. Didn't make it. And he doesn't make it. Fourth and down. Down. Grab the back from behind to help slow him up. That was 57, Dope Field. Arizona takes over at its own 47. Leading 21 to 15 and 5 for the play in the ball game. And Landry puts it up in a hurry and it's dropped by Johnson. 20 out of 26 for 193 yards. And a touchdown. And one also. Here comes Spitzer. He's a tough runner. Got a little scuffle on the sidelines between Lush and one of the linemen. Long four. He's looking at Johnson. He's got Johnson, but he goes instead at the 40-yard line to Lenny Willis. And Willis has a first down for Arizona at 4.30. Comes back to Lenny Willis. Spencer from the 40 to the 36 for four. Now becoming the ally of Arizona. And the unfortunate part was they dug it too deep to get out in time. Not yet. 339. That's getting close. Fumble on the snap. Die for the ball. And Philadelphia's got it. One more chance. I may have spoken too soon about the opportunity to get out of that hole. <laughs> Sam Mill. 54. And uh, the Breakers now on the verge of losing their second successive game. Here comes Philadelphia from the 35. Yusina in trouble. Wrapped up. Thrown down. 29. Carl Lorch. Second sack by Lorch. Fifth sack by Arizona. Second down and about 15. Four wide receivers for Philadelphia. Yusina with protection now has to throw it short. And Alan Harvin is cut down by Frank Menefield from Louisville. That's far. It is third down and about 15. Crowd making some noise. And Yusina walks away from it at two minutes to play. So you've got timeout. Two minutes to play. Now make it the 29-yard line of Philadelphia. Two minutes. Nickel defense in for Arizona. You see now on a long count. Steps up out of the pressure. Gets his pass off. It is caught. It is caught by David Riley. And Riley is still going at the 20, the 15 and down at the 11. And there are no penalty flags. Great play by Riley. Great play by Riley, who is down flat. He is plum run out of wind, I guarantee you. <laughs> it's points. Bank that play, guys, because that's what could be one of the big plays of the season, especially for Arizona. From the 12, you've seen it. Got a man wide open. Touchdown. Game's tied. Collier. Willie Collier, out of the 
University of Pittsburgh. In the day, the snap was high. Reardon had to hurry to get it down. He has missed three extra points this season. This one is good. And Philadelphia, the incredible Philadelphia Stars, have come back to take the lead 22 21 with a minute and 40 seconds to play in the ball game. Remind me never to give up on the team. We were laughing at it before, but Arizona has lost every game in which only five receivers have caught a pass. This is Alan Clark back to the 21. Today they had five receivers catch passes, and our statistician David Bernson comes up. Work, and they've got a fair to Midland leg in Frank Corral, who if he has to put a kick, will kick into the win. Landry has to throw it short. He gets it over there to Dennison, and Dennison is out of bounds, short of the first down. I knew I was close, and it's a judgment call, and uh, sometimes those angles of TV are a little bit wrong, I hope. You, <laughs> don't, you, know, you don't think you were over? I don't think so, but we'll have to wait and see. Okay, Keith, you heard it. Wait, it doesn't matter. It's in the book. Yeah, that's right. Touchdown counts. 22-21 Philadelphia. And it's second down and 12 as Landry is leveled as he clears the pass to Dennison. And Dennison is out of bounds at the 24. Got to go a little deeper, probably, and spend the time out. Try to pick up that first down. They probably will have to take it down the middle. Ricker might be available to him here. They get it away, and the pass is caught. Great catch by Larry Douglas. And Larry... A 4-3 and a 40-yard dash. Well, Landry back. They run it. They give it up the middle to Mac Boatner, who carries for the first time today. And now the clock shows 1-10. And now they wind it again. So they're trying to move it down in Frank Corral's range, saving their timeouts. Here's Landry getting pressure. Fumbles the football. Philadelphia has it. Number 90, who was it? A fielder? 95. 91. Fuller. Buddy Moore. 91. Buddy oh, Moore. Just outside the 47 of Arizona. Now Arizona is going to have to spend its time out to stop the clock and keep Philadelphia from spending all of it. 47 seconds, that's for sure. He's got a bad knee. Here's Fusina scrambling out, taking off with it, dives into Stan White down at the 40, and once again Arizona has to call a timeout, and there's a penalty flag. There are two flags out the field. You've got 39 seconds to play in the football game. Arizona. You've got 39 seconds to play in the football game. Arizona has two timeouts. Trying to keep Philadelphia from running out the clock. Defense number one. So Minifield, who's made a lot of good plays today, suddenly gets caught roughing a little bit here and gets nailed with a personal foul. That's Willie Collier he's going against right there. Through an elbow. Through an elbow. <laughs> Willie. Willie will take you on, Frank. Willie did just that. So the personal foul penalty moves the ball downfield to the Arizona 25, where it is a first. And he's got to go on the road and go into New Jersey next week to play, which is certainly not going to be an easy thing. And the uh, Denver gold will be red line. Arizona's burned its last time out. You've got 35 seconds to play in the game. Philadelphia leading 22 to 21. You've seen it now sits down back on the 31. No, it, they had uh, one more left. Twenty-nine seconds. Oh, look at this. The ball got away on the snap. And a penalty flag thrown on the field, so that stops the clock with 25 seconds. How in the world did the ball come out of the field? The game on the defense. Maybe Herbert Harris. You folks in Philadelphia ought to have a the play in case there is a fumble, so you can tackle whoever, fix it up, or recover it yourself. They line him up just to take care of anything like that. Now the clock is rolling, and that'll do it. They're just going to have to watch it tick off. Be a better pill for George Allen. And uh, 
these Arizona Wranglers as they drop to three and five. And the Philadelphia Stars get out of town with a win. And their record now goes to six and one. And they remain uh, sharing the lead in the Atlantic Division of the Eastern Conference. And the New Orleans Breakers just won with a field goal, 27 to 24, over the Pittsburgh Maulers. So while George Allen is stunned, Jim Moore.